welcome back and uh just want to introduce you to my new friend here this is my uh my new cell that i just got um put together um i've got a couple new uh anodes and cathodes here as you can see um mmo and titanium which is pretty much what you need be if you want to go even further you can get platinum but that's that might be my next step if I decide that these are inadequate, but I think this will do just fine. Um, I'm using a bell clasp jar, which is works really well. Uh, the only problem is that I mean the anodes and cathodes are are relatively long, so you do have to uh, kind of unclip. Back here, you just squeeze them, and it pops right out. That way, you can take it out like so. And once you get it in, you put them back together. Uh, but we'll do that later. And you got the so we can make it airtight if we want to. Actually, not if we want to, because we need to. And uh, this is where I'll be connecting uh, my power source up here which I uh, previously uh, showed you how to put together in my uh, last video. Um, got a nice hose nozzle here that's intact to the container itself, so all I have to do is put the hose down and it's ready to go. Um, so I'm excited to get it going. We'll see how it goes. All I did is uh, hot glue it in, so it should be okay. Uh, it shouldn't get too hot. And uh, if it does, I'll put it in a water bath. And uh, I'm gonna start out with uh, potassium chloride here. It's just regular water softener, but um, you gotta make sure it's not the sodium kind. Um, this one's potassium chloride. It's a, quite a bit more expensive than the other kind, but uh, in the large amount you'll get it will pretty much last forever. Um, comes in a 40 pound bag and uh, let's see here I'm using about 700 grams so look at that 700 exact as you can see I pre-weighed it out because I was waiting for myself eagerly um, so that's that's what I what I hear is it was good a decent amount. Um, I already have my water boiling, so let's go ahead and uh, put that in water. And this is going to take a while to dissolve, so uh, I'll go ahead and skip over that part and get back to you uh, when we set up the set. Alright, well, I'm going to think i got about as much dissolved in here as I can. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit and make sure I don't have anything settled to the bottom. If I do, I might add a little bit more water and reheat it because uh, I don't want the want that rest of that stuff to fall down in the bottom of my cell and contaminate my uh, potassium chlorate so um, I'll see what happens I'll let you know alright so well we got our solution in there ready to go ready to hook up uh, our electronics here alright so as you can see it's a little um, a little foggy just from all the, the saturated solution of all the potassium chloride that's in there um, so we'll go ahead and hook it up and plug in the power source and hook up our hose and we'll be good to go
And uh, again, it's it's just very important to uh, if you try doing this to make sure you vent this or do this outside. Um, it does create create chlorine gas and hydrogen, so it's flammable and poisonous. So you might be careful. Okay, and uh, so all right, there we go. And away it goes. You bowling away there. Just go, 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 go. And we'll see if we can get a little better light here. No better, not much. Well, this is definitely uh, the start of my pyrotechnic career, so I'm super excited. Been interested in this field for a very long time, and always, always had fireworks, and just always something I really, truly loved, and. Um, so hope, hope this works out, and we'll, we'll keep you posted on uh, the collection at the bottom here. Um, I plan to run this for four or five days. I'll uh, do a daily update on how much is procuring on the bottom. So uh, um, see you, see you in a minute. Well, this is day two. As you can see. Got a good quantity of crystals settling at the bottom. Probably let this run for a few more days and uh, we'll check it out tomorrow. Well, <clears throat> this is this is day three. Uh, looks like it's going really well. You can see quite a bit there. Probably go maybe one or two more days and uh, we'll shut it down and filter it and we'll see how much we get. Oh. Uh, day four here. Um, it's coming along, coming along nicely. Um, I marked. Uh, Marked it yesterday where it left off here, and it was it was just above, just at this red dot here. Well, day five. I think I'm gonna take it off and unplug it today. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and let it cool. Um, black line there shows how much I got from yesterday so quite a bit it's almost touching the wires there so I'm going to unplug it and we'll filter it in a little while alright well welcome back getting ready to filter this here so uh, go ahead and start this uh, I'm gonna re want to reuse my solution, so I want to get all the particles out I can. Here we go.
Quite a bit. It's my biggest batch. Uh, it's been successful, so we'll check it out in a little while and see what you got. I just got a, a fan up top here, just blowing directly down. Um, this heat rises, so all the heat's sitting up at the top there, blowing down on here. Um, so hopefully it'll be done drying in a few hours. All right. Well, it's all done here, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out. Set it here. And then and five grams. That's that's not bad. Five days, and I'm happy, about 155 grams. Pretty awesome.